the fundamental thing we, we think is let's develop these projects in as environmentally sensitive a way as possible. You know, that starts out with finding sites that are likely going to have the, the smallest impact to, to uh, wildlife and the natural resources around the site. We have a pretty well-formed and well-established environmental department staffed by a number of biologists to take a look at exactly these issues, uh, not only in the short term, prior to or just after construction of a project, but really in the long term. There's lots of things we do to help uh, reduce the impact. In places like here in Maine, in the Northeast, uh, erosion control is a primary thing. Out at the Milford Wind Corridor project that we have in southwestern Utah, you don't get that much water. Even a single truck going over undisturbed vegetation can have an impact. So there we had very clearly defined limits of where you could go and where you couldn't. After we finish, we have all this reclamation work that we do to revegetate a site. There's always going to be this road here um, because we need to access it every day. But other than that, every, everything that we can get vegetated, we want. And this will be allowed to grow up into shrubs and even small trees. On the wildlife side, we do the same sort of thing. The pre-construction studies, bat use surveys, nighttime and daytime bird migration surveys, and now we're doing them again as part of our post-construction surveys. So this is a bat detector that passively monitored the amount of activity that's going on in the vicinity of the detector. Hundreds of thousands of birds, you know, each season probably pass over Stetson Mountain, and we're collecting the, uh, the radar data at night to determine how many birds come through tonight you can see the individual turbines, and in some cases see the blades as they're spinning. Up above in the sky are birds, um, and possibly bats, that are migrating tonight. We can see on this, most of them are probably three to 500 meters above the ground. Most of those are flying high enough that they're well out of the, uh, the rotor zone of the turbines. It's great to be up here and uh, sort of get to see the world the way, the way they do.